<laughs> Friendly fire's on. Welcome back to Devil May Cry 5. My name is Austin. And I'm Matt. Do you ever forget what your name is for a minute? No, I surprisingly, I don't forget my name that often. I forget my age a lot more, though. The same. It's because once you're past 21, it really doesn't matter. Until you're 65. Until you're 65. Alright, so you're going to be playing with the hat now? Mm-hmm. Oops, I missed those red orbs. Uh, you don't need them. You got the hat. Mm-hmm. Which I'm going to lose so many more orbs. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I forgot, how does the hat make you lose orbs? Uh, you can throw your hat on people, and it makes it so that they drop red orbs whenever you hit them. Every time you get hit, you lose orbs, though. Ah, gotcha. So that's why you're on Trickster right now. Um, it was... I got on Trickster so that I could make that jump easily. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I finally have Air Hike as Dante, which is nice. <laughs> you know, who needs a double jump when everyone else in the game has a double jump? Mm-hmm. It's just that I kept forgetting to do it because I just wanted new things to attack with. I get ya. Because that's what that's the name of the game with Dante is uh hit him a lot. Just get the thing. Oh, so he still wears the hat with the uh, other weapons. It's cause uh Oh shit! <laughs> hmm. The hat actually isn't uh it's a uh, Ranged attack, not a... Oh, okay, so it's a gun. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And this is also really fun. What is that? Oh, so it's sort of like that one thing. Mm hmm Uh, it's sort of like uh, Nero's slicey dicey arm. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's a sturdy, that's a sturdy boy. I mean, they are demons, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, he had a shield out, though. Oh man, I'm not doing well. Yeah, it's been a second. Maybe we should have uh, let you practice as Dante as well. Just get him. Get him. Into the blender. Did that cost red orbs to do? It costs 50 every time it hits. Every time it hits? Yep. That is a lot, though. Mm hmm. So you are going to lose a lot of red orbs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but also, it can uh, parry. Yeah, that's good. So it's just really effective. Mm-hmm. I'm frozen. Just use a fire attack. So now that they don't have shields, you can throw your hat on them? Mm-hmm. Except for this one. Not the... not the Proton John? Yeah. The Proton John, I can only throw it on when he doesn't have super armor, which I'm not good enough to know exactly when and when he doesn't. Gotcha. He just does most of the time. Uh, so what does Gunslinger do for the hat, then? Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what does it do? Oh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Does that cost red orbs? Yes. Okay. If I got the upgrade for it, it would actually be the strongest gun in the game. Really? Yep. This hat's silly. Mm -hmm. This hat sounds real silly. That's why I love it so much. Yeah. Also, Gunslinger also. Okay. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm So, it seems like a pretty neat weapon. Mm hmm Okay, so that's what that does. <laughs> yep. Okay. I thought they just constantly drop red orbs, not hit. you drop more red orbs when they're wearing it. It is kind of funny that they're just okay with it, like, this hat's sick! Mm hmm Dinga! Yeah, I love this so much. I actually didn't use it a whole lot the first time I played it, but the more I played, I just started playing around with it. Because after you beat the game, you need a lot more red orbs to buy anything. Yeah. And also, you still have a lot of orbs that you can just fuck around with. Mm-hmm. So, that's just what I started to do. Just messing with the hat? Mm-hmm. And it's so much fun. It looks like fun. It like, I don't know how I feel about the fact that it seems very expensive for people that would buy red orbs, but at the same time, you know, it's well, not that bad. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing about it is, is that at a certain point of Devil May Cry, orbs are worthless anyway. Yeah, that's true. And it's just about the only way you can get the special taunts anyway. Mm. Is to use uh, the hat. What is that? Oh, Dr. Faust. Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember. <laughs> look around you, look beyond. I really want to watch the Shaman King anime again. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, you are lo you're moving in your seat a lot more as Dante than you were as Nero. I gotcha. It's because I gotta do a lot more. Yeah. Oops. Oops, gotta get to work. He's gonna explode. <laughs> Uh-oh, he broke the behemoth free. <laughs> so he does just use the full motorcycle as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friendly fires on. It's good to know. <laughs> Just smack him out of here. Doesn't need any help. Uh, Dante looks pretty cool to play as in this. He is. He's a lot of fun. Because mm -hmm. uh, not saying Dante's not cool in other games. But I've always liked how Virgil plays a bit more because of the sword thing he has. Mm -hmm. I just think it's the coolest ability. <laughs> and his double trigger wears the hat too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But also, look how many red orbs this boy dropped because I was shooting him. <laughs> a couple. Yeah. Just a few. So that's that's the way to get orbs. You throw your hat on him and just shoot the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. Uh, and at max level, it can actually trivialize bosses on, uh, even Dante Must Die mode. Yeah? Yeah. There's something you can do at max devil trigger. It costs, like, a million orbs, though. Mm. That'll one-shot bosses. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, all except for the last one. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Mm hmm Hey, it's an orb boy. What if you throw your hat on this boy? Oh, see you later, kid. I saw. I already did throw my hat on. Oh, okay. If he runs away, do you lose your hat? No. That's good. Uh, that just kind of makes me think of XCOM. One thing I don't like about it is the fact that you can lose one or items that are that you can only get one of per mission or per campaign. Yeah, I gotcha. That is that does suck. Mm -hmm. Kick. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while, but we got there. He was stuck on the wall. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I don't think that's how. I don't think that that's how any of this works. What was that? Hmm. What was that a trailer for? Or not a trailer? Commercial. I don't think I. I don't remember. I haven't watched TV in so long. Well, it's an old commercial. Yeah, I know. Like I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember it because it's been years. There. Ah. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast this morning. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Yeah, what are we, rich? Fair enough. Hello, so much. Data. I have seen this place before. <laughs> and also, if you do Devil Trigger and Sword Master, you just get spinning. That is silliness. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> they were, uh... They were like, well, I can't hear them, you just keep spinning. <laughs> like, the motorcycle, despite me not knowing how to use it very well, is just so much fun. Mm -hmm. Gotta get the red orbs on the flaky bits of skin. Uh, I just realized that I was wasting my double trigger. E. Don't do that. No, I need it. Uh... <laughs> So, do you feel your sin gauge any other way aside from just using your devil trigger? Yeah. Uh, anything that you get above your full devil trigger goes into your sin gauge. Gotcha. But I should do that. Oh, that's something that I should have bought. Extra sin? Uh, no. You can't get any more sin trigger than you have. Yeah. Uh, but there's a... Uh, right now, I just have the base version of it, mm. and I would really like more. I would like to sin even more. Yeah, basically. I'm really playing into that sin 
the fact that its name is Sin Devil Trigger. It's not a silly name, it's just... Mm -mm. You can say words that sound funny out of context. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanna be a Sinny boy. Mm-hmm. Come on, this come camera on. camera angle, though. Mm-hmm. Do you regular boys drop Devil Trigger? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're... Okay, you're going Sin? I thought you were saving it for a boss. Nah, there's really no need to. Yeah? Okay. That's a big old sword. Yeah. It lasts a little more than three seconds, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot, though. Mm -hmm. Finish the fight pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it getting cold in the tree? Uh, maybe because there's a cold boy here. Gotcha. Open up a cold boy with the ones. Mm -hmm. Shit. I guess that's why you're not allowed to play as Lady and Trish. With the realistic graphics, they're like, mm, can't raise that age rating. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's too cold in here. Yeah, it's too cold in here. It's awfully cold in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I don't like how its arm pulsates as you hit it. Can they wear hats? Yeah. I bet um, they would look less gross with a hat on. Uh, I just want to wait until there is less boys around to use it. That's fair. Don't want to lose all them orbs. Mm -hmm. The morbs, orbs. Oh wow, you almost have your sin gauge back. Oh yeah, it's because I spent a lot of my devil trigger on it already. Because you get devil trigger pretty fast just for fighting. Ah, gotcha. You get a certain amount of devil trigger based off of your style ranking. So getting an S makes you get more devil trigger. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. Uh, so I guess. If you have a higher Devil Trigger, does that make it harder to get uh, your Sin Gauge up? No. No? It's always an equal amount. How much you put into it is always how much you put into it. Okay. That's fair. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. What'd you do? I threw my hat on him. <laughs> Gotta kill him. Yeah. At least you didn't get hit. Now you got your hat on this boy. Yep. Wait, was it? That was one of those... Uh, the things I can't pronounce, and mm -hmm. they... He was shooting ice. Oh. My bad. Why'd you lie to me? Because that's what I do. I'm just a liar with no conscience. <laughs> I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Austin. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> You're my friend. We do YouTube together. <laughs> you can't get out of that, by the way. You can't? <laughs> okay. I always do it because I think it'll be funny. Alright, uh, and I don't have enough to buy anything good yet. Yeah? Yeah. I, were, I thought you were, that's why you had Dr. Faust to make all that money back. See, the thing is, I've made up a lot of money. Mm-hmm, but you lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. too. Where do I go? Okay, I need to go in the hole. Let me get in the hole! Just, uh, yeah, it's not having, oh, there it is. No, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Going Ebony Ivory? Yeah. There may be a boss fight down here. Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And this boss may or may not have just kicked my ass. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Is it... Oh. Oh, it's Cerberus! Yeah! Okay. This is some very minor I was keeping for me, because I know you've seen Cerberus before. Uh, I haven't seen Devil May Cry Cerberus. Oh, he's the first boss. Second boss in three. Oh, okay. The first boss that isn't just a regular enemy. <laughs> yeah. Because the first boss is just a shadow boy with uh, sight. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So he's easier. So does that mean you get nunchucks? Yeah! This... Try chucks? Mm -hmm. This Cerberus is a little bit different than the other one. This is a stronger Cerberus. Alright. Uh, uh, I used to remember what it was called when it's, it's like Cerberus, but it's got two heads instead of three. Uh, Virus. Uh, no. Oh. It starts with a no, and uh, it's not, it's not Ouroboros, because that's the self-eating snake. Yeah. Uh, I need to touch up on my mythology again. I gotcha. Me too. And also, this one just cuts his own leash, which makes him different than the first Cerberus. 
Yeah. Yeah. The first Cerberus was tied up the entire fight. Oh, okay. Is that what makes him tougher? No. You'll see here in just a sec. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, I need a tree. Give me your bones. <laughs> yeah. That's what he do. Mm -hmm. Is that what he do? Huh? Oh. He's a warm boy. Mm -hmm. I thought you said there was a cold boy down here. He's both. Ah, gotcha. So, gotta use your rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. You know, I always find... Why are sawed-off shotguns more powerful than regular shotguns? Uh, they're not. They're just more versatile. Yeah? Yeah, because you can uh, hide them better and... Uh, basically, that's it. <laughs> okay. So that's why they're illegal. Then why in video games do sawed-off shotguns do more than regular shotguns all the time? Because video games are stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. There isn't a Cer there isn't a Cerberus stat block in D&D, I just realized. Yeah? Yeah, at, at least in 5th edition in none of the books that I have. I don't know if like in one of the adventure modules there's books for the Cerberus. Ah, I tried to dodge that. I mean, I feel like it'd be hard to dodge a lot of lightning. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. He went warm boy because it was all ice, and now it's water. So also, can... I got a trophy that I didn't get on mine. I was actually really trying to get it, too. What trophy? Obedience training. Yeah? What does it do? Uh, it just says, try not to brute force your way through the fight. Yeah? Yep. How did you not brute force your way through the You're not even through the fight. <laughs> yep. You have to knock him out once. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Okay, because I remember you were saying that that's one of those trophies that people didn't quite know how to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good that uh, the rockets don't do damage to you as well. It's about to, you just about to fire and leave. But... Yeah, I couldn't get out of it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, they kept hitting him. No, I was too close to the wall. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, you do get Sin Devil Trigger a lot faster than I thought you would, considering how powerful it is. Mm -hmm. You just don't get it for very long. Mm -hmm. And do you need to be Max Devil Trigger to go all Devil Triggery? Hmm? No, I just need three. Oh, you just need the three, but having more makes it last longer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. This is the worst stage. Yeah? Yeah, because you just run. Okay. Which is a shame, because I really like the aesthetic of this this stage of fighting him. Mm-hmm. He, he looks even cooler. <laughs> Pun not intended. Okay. I thought it was. I was going to yell at you. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> He's such a good doggo. Mm-hmm. He's just guarding the quiet vlog. Mm-hmm. just, you know... That's that's all you need a Cerberus for, because, you know, people always look at Cerberus like, why, or always have Cerberus be an enemy and things, but Cerberus is just a guard dog, it's guarding, it's guarding the gates of Tartarus, so, like, you know, it's not that bad of a dog, Cerberus is just a good boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the first one, he's just guarding the gate to, uh, I forget the name of the tower, but tower in Devil May Cry 3. Okay. I don't know the name of the tower. Yeah. The tower where Dante gets stabbed. That's yeah. a lot of towers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty much every tower that's in the game. But after you fight him for so long, he goes, Hey, I like you. Use my soul to make a weapon. <laughs> so how come you can't hit him when he's in ice form? Uh, because he's dropping icicles from the ceiling. Mm. So you can hit him, but it's best to just run away. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Because it's fun. <laughs> Sounds like it. Just kill him. Use your motorcycle sword! I feel like this one definitely went a lot crazier with the weapons. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing that, you know, we're not having too long of recording sessions today, because, <laughs> uh, gotta charge the batteries on my PlayStation. Yep. Uh, not the PlayStation itself, just the controller. Imagine if game console still had, like, you still had to charge them. Mm -hmm. I guess that's literally the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I failed you guys. You fool! You absolute idiot! <laughs> yep. 
All right, it's time for me to go home. I'm sorry, guys. Aren't you already home? Oh. Is this not your house? Uh, no, I just stay here. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His home is where the heart is, and I lost my heart a long time ago. I left my heart in whatever the name of that song is. Uh, I don't know which song you're talking about. It's some popular pop song, I think. I assume. Jar Hearts? No. That, that's an older... Uh, not that old. Left in your jar of hearts And break your love apart Yeah. That one? Yeah. That one. Usually sung a little better, but... <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what's... I still have no clue what song you're talking about. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember the name of it enough to continue, or the song well enough to continue. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll drop it then. <laughs> yep, sorry man. Okay. You act like I listen to music. Well, I figured if you're making a reference to the song, you know what you're talking about. I figured that you would know. You listen to music. Yeah, just losing your heart. What is? How? What am I supposed to get from that? It's, I left my heart somewhere. Sure. Yeah, okay. San Diego. Something. <laughs> okay. It, yeah, I don't know. I, I've got not a not a clue. Dude, like, <laughs> he's uh. He's supposed to be guarding this whole thing, but with all this heat and cold, like, the Quifod's got to be breaking down real quick, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a tree. It'll be fine. I don't know if trees do much better with such extreme uh, changes of heat. It's a big tree. Yeah, that's fair. I guess this is, like, probably the biggest tree out there. Aside from that one broccoli in the end of uh, Psycho Mob 100. Mm -hmm. Broccoli's not a tree. Stop trying to confuse me. It's like a tiny tree. <laughs> Except for the one in Mob Psycho. Except for the one in Mob Psycho. So at that point, it is a tree. Ah, oh, I didn't uh, get my jump frames. Well, I'm gonna use an orb. Yeah, makes sense. You got it. You got enough. Mm -hmm. You got like 12 of them. We can do this. Yeah. Just, you know, brute force your way through this boss, which will be kind of ironic since you have this trophy on my PS4, <laughs> not yours. Yep. Mm. I love that he just keeps shouting as you change it. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Uh, it's sort of a meme, actually, that the only way to properly play Dante is you go, Gun, sword, trick, gun, sword, work! <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's how you play the game. Is that, uh... Is that been in every game where of Devil May Cry? No, that's just been from four on. Okay. Because the way that you're supposed. To... <laughs> okay, they explode when they hit the ground too. Okay. But the way that they're supposed to. That's the way you're supposed to play Dante. Ow. Okay. Oh, you're frozen. Oh. <laughs> I guess that works. That's basically a fire type move, am I right? Yeah. Do you take damage in sin? Yes. Okay. You just wanted to kill him. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> beat, beat up doggo. Yeah. And now I get a pretty fun weapon, actually. Mhm. Mm it's actually better than the one in four, three, three, four. Yeah. So trick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't like a whole lot of the weapons in 4. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, a lot of them were, like, the punch gauntlets were slower than I wanted them to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lucifer is weird. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Gotta have that dubstep cutscene. <laughs> uh. It's beautiful. And this one transforms. Nice. So it does kind of turn into like a bow staff as well. Mm -hmm. That that does seem pretty cool. Yeah. It took me a minute to figure out how it's done though. Yeah. Yeah. Cause uh, you use the electric by holding down a button, mm. and you can only use the fire and sword master. Okay. Interesting. So, the first one. Mm -hmm. so they like to throw a lot of variety in Dante. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the name of his game these days, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because just, in two, they're just like, you can have two weapons at a time anymore. And in four, they're like, yo, let him go nuts. Let's just... <laughs> Crap. 
What's the meme? Do you ever just want to go? <laughs> Aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go bat shit? Ape shit. Ape shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Comment? Got, well, you gotta do the cutscene. Oh, All right, cutscene. Yeah. That's King Cerberus. Hey, King Cerberus, nice to meet you. How's your daughter? Mm hmm. We killed him. Ah. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Balrog actually killed it. Oh, uh, dang. Mm -hmm. Like from Lord of the Rings? No, like the punch gloves that I have. Mm. Uh, it was a demon that he fought in the book, Japanese exclusive book, Before the Nightmare. Okay. And. Cerberus was the only weapon that he kept that he didn't sell, aside from the one that stabs whoever tries to hold it. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I imagine that's a hard sell. Ah, <laughs> oh, not Dante. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Trish has it. Okay. Does it try to stab her? Yeah. Okay. But it stabbed her once and they're good now. They're good now. <laughs> Fair enough. This is where you find out about what a sad boy Virgil is. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason he pursued power is because he thought he wasn't worth being loved. Mm. Because he thought his mom left him to die because Dante always beat him when, in sword fights when they were training and stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the sad boy hours. Who's up? Real sad boy hours. So that's probably why he wanted to uh, kill Dante. That yeah. makes sense. <laughs> yeah. You know, just that residual hatred. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, this is Virgil. I for, I kind of <laughs> am still trying to <laughs> wrap your head around that. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it was, like, uh, Virgil, but without any memories. Uh, to a certain degree. Okay. But that's actually Arizon. Uh, Arizon doesn't have any memories? Nope. He just remembers that Dante exists. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's gonna go. Oh, nice day, bye. Bye. <laughs>